Hello Redirect customers. In this tutorial, we will go over an overview of setup of web native campaign. If you are a call center, please see the tutorial for direct redirect campaign setup, as this is the only type of campaign you can run. First, fill out basic information for your campaign. Select your campaign type. Add a name to your campaign. This can be any name you choose. Now, enter your max bid per click. The minimum bid per click is 25 cents for the US. It's important to note that all email and web native campaigns are per CPC, not per visit. Now, enter your click URL here. This is the URL you want traffic to see when they click on your ad. To ensure you have your URL entered correctly, click on the I icon for a preview. To see a list of tags you can add to your URL, click here. Here is an example of how to enter a tag for a URL. This is just an example. Please use your URL for all tags. Now let's take a look at bid automation. This feature gives you the ability to adjust your bids by day and per hour based on your needs or traffic available given your campaign settings. Just change the percentage on the day or hour that you would like to either increase or decrease your bid for that day or hour. For example, if your max bid per click is $1 and you adjust Monday to 50%, your new max bid for that day would only be 50 cents per click. This is a great way to target your campaign for peak hours of traffic and lessen your bid for non-peak hours. Please note that if you are bidding the minimum bid of $0.25 cents and you adjust your bid automation to be less than 100%, you will fall below the minimum and will not receive traffic. So always ensure when adjusting that you stay above the minimum bid based on your campaign settings. Please note that all times on the redirect platform are set to Eastern Standard Time. Now let's take a look at targeting. First, select your traffic type, Web Native Standard or Web Native High Volume RON. Web Native Standard Feed is our top feed of filtered quality traffic from our trusted users and partners. Web Native High Volume RON is our lower tier feed consisting of a mixed bag of traffic and quality at a very low rate. Now select Campaign Targeting. You can target by category or source. To target by source, switch to source. By default, all sources are targeted. If you do not want to target all sources, click on the Remove icon. To add sources, click on the box. Once all sources have been selected, click on Add. This is a great time to change your max bid per source. The higher your bid, the more traffic you are likely to win. A great way to research bids is to 1. View the bid range. This is a breakdown of the current bids in the system for that source. Or two, click on the clock. This gives you an hourly breakdown of the bids for that source as well as estimated traffic per hour. You can also view the current traffic for that source here. Enter any sources you would like to exclude from your campaign here. For more information on source exclusions, please see that tutorial. To target by categories, switch to categories. Again, by default, all categories are selected. If you do not want to target all categories, you must click on Remove. To add categories, click on the box, and then click Add. You will see those categories above. You can now again change your max bid per source. Please note, you cannot target by categories and source. You must select one or the other. Now let's choose your audience. Select non-adult, or adult. Adult traffic refers to traffic that is related to adult porn content. If your URL has any nudity or porn, it can only target adult audience. If you target non-adult with a porn link, your campaign may not be approved. Please note once audience is selected and campaign is saved, you will not be able to change this information. If you would like unique clicks only, check mark the box here. A unique click refers to a person who is seeing or viewing an advertisement for the first time and will not be showing the ad again. Now let's take a closer look at targeting your geographic area. To search geos, click here. 
by default, our top geographic areas will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or scroll to find your results, your search results will update. Click on your desired geographic area to add. You can also search by clicking on the magnifying glass. In the search field, enter your desired area and hit update list. Entering a country's abbreviation will also help you locate your desired geographic area. To select your locations, click on the box. These locations will populate below. Once you have selected your geographic areas, click on Use Selected. Please note that selecting specific geographic areas will change the amount of traffic your campaign will receive. As you select your geographic areas, you will see the available traffic and bid range for your targeted sources or categories update here. You can also choose to include or exclude your selected geographic areas. Selecting to include will only target those geos you selected. Selecting exclude will remove targeting on those selected geos and target all other geographic areas we have available. To target all geographic locations, leave this field blank. Next, you can select the browsers you would like to target, if any. To search, click here. By default, our top browsers will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or abbreviation or scroll to find your results, your results will update. Click on your desired browser to add. You can also search by clicking on the magnifying glass. To search for individual browsers, Enter the name in the search field and click Update List. To select browsers, click on the box. Each selected browser will populate below. Once all browsers are selected, click on Use Selected Browsers. Selecting different browsers will change the amount of traffic you will receive. As you select your browsers, you will see the available traffic and bid range update for your targeted sources or categories here. To target all browsers, leave this field blank. By default, this field is blank. If you selected any mobile browsers, you will now see this field and can select what mobile carriers you would like to target. To search, click on the magnifying glass or scroll to find. To search for individual carriers, enter the name in the search field and click Update List. To select carriers, click on the box. Each selection will populate in the list below. Once all carriers are selected, click on Use Selected Carriers. If you do not target any mobile browsers or target all browsers, you will not see the Carrier tab. Please note that carriers are for mobile devices only. Now let's take a look at connection types. The Connections feature gives you the opportunity to target by internet connection type. Selecting cable DSL dial-up will target any traffic coming from regular desktop and mobile traffic that is connected to Wi-Fi. Selecting Cellular will target any traffic coming for or connected to mobile or cellular device networks. Selecting Other will target any traffic coming from proxies, networks, IPSs, hosted companies, or various other types of connections. By default, all connections are selected. To select or unselect a connection type, click on the arrow. This feature is editable on all current, saved, or active campaigns. Now let's schedule your campaign. Scheduling will run your campaign for only the selected date, range, days, or hours that you select. All other times your campaign will be idle. You can schedule your campaign to run every day for all hours or selected hours. You can also schedule by date range. Enter your start date and end date and choose your hours. Again, either by all hours or selected hours. Lastly, you can run a schedule based on the days of the week. Again, by all hours for those days or selected hours. Once again, please note that all hours are for Eastern Standard Time. Now select Launch State, Active or Paused. Please note that all campaigns will be paused until approved. Once approved, an active campaign will start running and depleting funds from your account. Now let's move to Frequency Capping. Frequency Capping is here to help you control your budget. You can select a cap based on no cap, budget, views, unique views, or conversions. Select your cap frequency and enter your cap number. Please note that once your cap is reached, your campaign will be idle. You can make changes to or reset your cap at any time. 
for more information on capping, please see that tutorial. Now let's add your native ad content. To add new content, click on New Content. Now let's upload an image. Click on Add New Content, then click on Choose File. Once you have chosen your image, click on Upload. We accept JPEG, GIF, Graphics Interchangeable Format, and PNG, Portable Network Graphics. Please note all images are required to be 600 by 600 pixels. Also please note that images with words are not allowed as these scale poorly. Please remove any words from your images before submitting as doing so may result in a rejection of your campaign. Once your image is uploaded, you will see a preview here. Now let's add your headline. Enter your headline here. To add additional headlines, click on the plus tab. Adding additional headlines will help in optimizing your campaign. For more information on optimizing, please see that tutorial. Now enter your copy and then brand. Enter how you would like your URL to be displayed. Now enter, paste, your click URL. Click on the I icon for a preview. To tag your headline or copy, click on Tags to view a list of our available tags. Enter or copy and paste your tag. It will populate in the preview. Tagging is a web appendage that pulls specific visitor info to insert into your headline or copy. Here is an example of how a tag will look. To add existing content from previous native ad campaigns, click on Add Existing Content. Choose the content you would like to add and then click anywhere to edit. You can now enable optional conversion tracking. To enable, select Yes, and then select what type of tracking you would like. Once complete, click on Save Changes. To return to the Campaigns page, click on Campaigns. You will then see your new campaign populate on your list. To pause or activate a campaign, check mark the campaign, and then select Run or Pause selected. You can also run by clicking on the Play or Pause buttons. To edit information in your campaign, Click on the campaign and then any pencil icon to return to the edit screen. Once all of your information is entered, click on Save Changes. Again, please note that all campaigns will be paused until approved. Once approved, an active campaign will start running and depleting funds from your account. For more information on conversion tracking or any of the subjects covered in this tutorial, please see our other tutorials or contact us via support ticket from your account or on Skype. Thanks again for choosing redirect.com.